<gasps> oh my gosh. Look what just happened. This entire pan just fell into my lap. So we have a problem. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Ashley Battle from Battle for Beauty. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this easy glam holiday makeup look. It doesn't take any hard steps at all and I'm using it with a couple of new products that I have. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you end up liking it. And we'll go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Yeah. All right guys, so I went ahead and did the rest of my face and my brows and I already went ahead and primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low and I just set that with a little bit of translucent powder so my eyes are ready to go now. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I just went ahead and ordered a bunch of new palettes because I have been using this one quite frequently. I'm gonna start a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this color right here. I'm just gonna pack that into my crease. This is gonna be a real simple look. There's not gonna be a lot going on with this look because we're just gonna have a wash of glitter over our eyes because it's literally the easiest holiday look you can do is just put glitter all over the place. Next, I'm just gonna go down a row and I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm just gonna put that right on top of that transition shade that I just did, but keeping it a little bit lower. So you see I'm using the same brush right here and I'm just gonna go right underneath that color and just lay that down on top of it. This isn't necessary. You probably could start with this shade if you wanted to, but I really like to have multiple transition colors down because it really makes your eye have sort of this more light and fluffier effect versus going in with one really harsh color and then just trying to blend that out. So you see, it's not that much of a difference right there, but I just want to lay it down. These are all really cool tone colors because I think that looks really good with the glitter that we're gonna be using. So again, just keeping it a tiny bit lower, but with that same brush and then just buffing it out in small circles and then windshield wiper motions just so we can get that color really, really blended and buffed out. So right after I finish blending out those colors, I'm gonna take that same brush with no new product and I'm just gonna focus this on the edges and blending it a little bit outwards because I want this to have more of like a wispy effect towards the ends. Not that much product is left on the brush, but it's still gonna be able to blend out those edges a lot better and I'm really holding it very daintily, but I just wanna make sure that it wisps out and sort of ends up in this triangle with my eyebrows. I'm not exactly sure if I wanna be using liner for this look just yet, so just in case we're not using liner, I still want it to have this sort of blown out effect on the edges of my eyes. Picking up this smaller, more precise blending brush, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it into Let's see, I'm gonna dip it into this color right here, but I'm gonna tap very lightly, maybe three times, and I get that small amount of product right here and just tap that off. I want a tiny, tiny bit of this product because it is very pigmented. I'm gonna focus that just on the outer corner just to deepen that up a tiny bit. I like my eyes to look a little bit more elongated, so that's why I'm focusing a darker color on the outer corner of my eye because I wanna bring it out a little bit more wider. And then just buffing it out just a tiny bit on the bottom part of my lid and then just stroking it out. See, it barely makes a difference there, but it's just those small details that really count with this look. You see, it just kind of brings my eye a little bit more wider. Don't be afraid if you get some of the shadow a little bit lower than you expected. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up with more concealer on later. So before we move on to the glitter, I wanna make sure that I can clean up these edges right over here. So I'm just gonna take my paint pot in Lay and Low and the same brush that I used to clean up my eyebrows, which you didn't see, but it's just like this flat shader brush right here. I'm just gonna dip this into a tiny, tiny bit of paint pot and just make a nice sharp edge on my eye look. So just a sharp edge right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this out a tiny bit with the brush. So you see how sharp it is. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and just buff out the edge right there. I'm making sure it's still sharp but it's still all blended in. So now it's the fun part and we're gonna get to the glitter. So I'm gonna be using the new, well, I don't know if this is very new anymore, but this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is so freaking pretty and I've seen so many good reviews about this. And this is literally like the perfect glitter color that I was looking for for this look. This is in the color Gold Goddess. So as you can see, I just swatched it on my hand right here and this is a nice champagne gold color. You can see it's this nice champagne gold. It's not too yellow, but it's absolutely gorgeous for this eye look. So I'm just gonna take the spatula and put it right over my lid. I just want this glitter to pretty much wash out my entire lid. I love this spatula too because you can really control how much product goes on here. Oh, you can see how gorgeous that is. So I got a good amount of the product down, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger and just blend it out a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I don't want it to be too, too heavy on the glitter. I just kinda want it to like shine through. And I'm gonna bring a little bit of that excess product into my inner corner as well. So now I just have like a wash of like really pretty glitter all over our lid. And I did put it a little bit higher in my crease because I do have 
pleated eyes and so I want this glitter to really shine through when I'm looking like straight forward. Now I'm just gonna finish up my lower lash line with those same three transition colors that we use. So I'm just gonna mix the first two that I use and just dust that over my lower lash line. I'm like really, really digging all this glitter. Oh, it just makes me so happy. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus that third color that we used on the outer corner of my eye. So I am gonna use a liner. I really think my eyes need it. So I'm gonna be taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm not going to do a winged liner for this. I'm just going to line over the top of my eye and just really make sure that I have something down there because I am gonna be putting on false lashes. So I wanna make sure that the lash band blends in with my eye. This product could be a little bit difficult to use if you're a first timer with like liquid liners with a brush tip like this. My foolproof thing to do is just wipe off the product on the side of the jar and then go ahead and line your eyes with it and then add as needed. Because if you get too much all at once, it's gonna be really, really tough to come back from. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm just doing a really, really thin line. And you see, I got all that product off just from wiping off the product on the container. Okay, not gonna lie, this glitter is a little bit difficult to put a liquid liner on top of because right when I did that, I don't know if you could see, but I got like glitter specks and like glitter flux right on top of that liquid liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Gel Liner and just go on top of that liquid liner with this. Gel liners are a lot better to work with on top of glitter than liquid liners. So I'm just sweeping this right on top and that gets rid of the glitter that's on there. And boom, we got the eyeliner. This is gonna be weird for me not doing a wing. <laughs> so next I do want my eyes to look very fluffy and light and wispy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my Lily Lashes in the style Opulence. It's a little bit longer and wispier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep these and I'm gonna coat my eyes with a bit of L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I'll just go ahead and finish my eyes and meet you after those are done. All right, the eyes are done. So we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some blush and I'm gonna take none other than, you guys already know it, my BH. 10 color nude blush palette and I'm gonna take this color right here and apply it all over my cheeks just on the apples and then blending that back into my bronzer after that I'm going to go into my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I'm gonna take the darkest shade in this palette and just go over my bronzer a little bit more just to define that contour just a tiny bit but I'm gonna keep it right up in my temples right here and then blend it back down. All right, for highlight, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, like I always do, and I'm gonna take the shade 143, and I'm just going to pop that on all the places that I want highlight. I'm gonna put a lot on that Cupid's bow, then a little bit on the tip of my nose, then right underneath my brow, and then just a tiny bit on the inner corners of my eyes, just to blend in with that glitter that I put there. Yes. Just really want these eyes to pop. And now I'm just gonna put some on my cheeks and I'm just going to take my Morphe R36 brush and I'm gonna dip the tip into this just a little, little bit brush off some of that excess and then just place it right on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm not gonna really blow this highlight out, I'm just gonna keep it right, concentrated right there and not too much because if you're going to any holiday parties and you're gonna be taking pictures, you don't want your highlight to be super, super blinding because it'll just really flash back on the camera. So just a tiny bit of that sheen just makes all the difference right there. All right, last but not least, we're going to apply our lips and I don't have a good liner for this, so I'm just gonna have to wing it, but I'm gonna be using the ColourPop and I Love Sarahi Matte Liquid Lip in the color Mama Sita. I should have put on <laughs> chapstick before this because my lips are really dry. Shoot. Now let's set it. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.